Hey, this is Whiskey Rock and Roller here, sitting down in my favorite place in the Trans Am here, sitting here down by the river. And well, I thought I'd sit here, got a little thing on my mind here I've been thinking about, and, and uh, here it is. What in the fuck is wrong with Paul Stanley? Uh, this is something I don't understand. You hand a guy, you know what I mean, uh, the key to the Emerald City, and he freaking loses it before he gets to the lock. It just don't make no freaking sense to me. I mean, he, he, he's getting into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and he still bitches. And I don't understand that, you know what I mean? That, that, that just blows my mind. I mean, because he don't want the two extra people that helped him get there, that probably without them, and that chemistry of all four of them, four, that got them started, that they wouldn't be where they're at. You know what I mean? I understand stay loyal to the guys that's in your band now. I mean, I have a band, and we play out on the weekends and stuff, and, you know what I mean, BFWs and stuff, and yeah, you got to stay loyal to them, even at that small level like that, just making a few hundred bucks. But I can only imagine in a million dollars. But you can't stay loyal to them to where it is hurting you and making you look stupid and, and and that's what's going on i mean i've always been a fan don't get me wrong i've been a biggest kiss fan in the world and i'll say it and i've said this all my life i was breastfed on kiss that's the only way but i started listening to them when i was like nine years old my, my brother got me a um the kiss alive album for my ninth birthday i started listening to that and it was all over from there it was nothing but kiss that's all i thought about my parents hated them you know what i mean they beat on the door go let's do them now and i mean it was just chaos in the house, but I stood for and I have, always had. I even loved them with uh, uh, Lick It Up on that album and stuff, and that's another thing. Uh, I heard Paul Stanley make a quote, he wanted everybody there about Vinnie Vincent. I know Vinnie Vincent has got some demons, and I think he was, you know what I mean, uh, a homosexual. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? I don't understand that. Unless he was homosexual on you, Paul, what are you worried about? You know what I mean? And, and that, that's what I don't understand. He was a genius in what he done. Vinny Vincent put out some great albums. If you ain't never heard of an album called Vinny Vincent Invasion, go listen to it. It is killer. So, so I always thought that they, that brought another element to the band. You know what I mean? So I always loved Vinny Vincent for whatever you know what I mean, he brought to the band. But this is just craziness. And I know it happened a couple weeks ago. And then see, I'm, I'm I'm a Kiss fan, but I'm also an Ace Riley fan. I think Ace has had his problems and he has done his drugs and stuff. But still, he is a great musician. And yes, I know that fucking uh, Tommy. Thayer or whatever, he's Thacker or whatever the fuck his name is, had to teach him all his leads and stuff and everything, but that guy, I know, I don't know if you know this or not, but if you're a Kiss fan, you know, he used to bring him burgers, I mean, he was the, you know, go out and give me a hamburger, you motherfucker, you know what I mean, and, and, and that's the way he was, and now he, he's in the band, ah, it don't make no sense to me, man, you know, he goes back to, you know, who you know, it's who you, but anyways, it just don't make no sense, man. And, and, and it's a frustrating point for me because, I'm, just like I said, I'm a big Kiss fan. And there's a lot of big Kiss fans out there. And that just makes it, you know what I mean? I hate to see the other guys even playing with them. And I'm a big, you know what I mean? I'm a drummer myself. And I'm a big Eric Singer fan, man. He's, he's we all know he's a whole lot better drummer than Peter Chris. But Peter Chris is their sound. Sometimes better is not the best. Prime example of that is, is uh, Ringo Starr. Not a very good drummer, but you would put another drummer into the Beatles, they probably not even made it. That was that sound. Once he got with them and they kicked out Pete Best, that was their sound. And that's what made them the millions of dollars. And it ain't just because, you know what I mean, that, 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 that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? So what I was saying, what is good for one ain't good for all. You know what I mean? Just because he's a great musician don't mean that he'll meet in with you and be good. I've, I've learned that in our band, you know what I mean? We'll bring a guy in, that, you know what I mean? We'll see an ad in the paper and we want to change a guy, we'll bring him and try him out. And he might think he's God, he can rip up all his leads, but unless he's, you know what I mean, can sit in with the band and got good tone that he can play, you know what I mean? All these different genres of music, he don't cut it. So, and, and, and that's the same thing with them, I feel. I feel that they, you know what I mean, Paul, uh, after you get so rich so long, you quit looking and you constantly start looking to give the horse in the mouth. And I think that's what he's doing right now. He's looking to give the horse in the mouth. And and I just don't, you know, I'm furious over it. Just like I said, I'm a big Kiss fan. I couldn't wait when they come back out in the 90s and I went to them two Kiss concerts, man. And it's like, after that Psycho Circus, man, they sucked. You know what I mean, it just wasn't the same. You know what I mean? It wasn't the same. I don't know what was going on. But the first two was killer, man, when they brought Ace and them back. But sometimes, uh, you know what I mean, when you say you're quitting, and this is last year, and you come back again and again, sometimes you should have quit. 
but I do. I mean, I even like a few songs on that new album, Monster, that they put out. There's a couple of real good songs on there, man. They're a real good sounding band. They're probably smoother now than what they've ever been. But still, that doesn't matter. You know, I mean, Kiss wasn't known for smooth. They knew for rawness. They wasn't known for number one hits. They was known for, you know, I mean, oh my God, what is that you're listening to? Turn that off when I was a kid. And not just kid music either. A lot of people get clogged up into that. Oh, it was kid music. It wasn't kid music. It was rock and roll. Good rock and roll. So, but we, we, we might see a part two on this because it's just something that's on me and it's on me hard. And you know, I wish you all would like, you know, I mean, put subscriptions down here. I mean, Put some comments down here, and you can subscribe, too. That'd be cool, but put some comments down here, and tell me what you think, man, because I think it's a travesty. I mean, when you get something, and you win the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which they should have had it 10, 12 years ago, but still, they just now got it. Appreciate it. And you act like, yeah, don't even want to go, don't want to play. So that's the reason they didn't fly up here, because he didn't want to play with Paul, with Peter, Chris, and Ace Friday. Bullshit, dude. It's bullshit. So... But just like I've said before, man, put me down here some some stuff, man, that we could talk about, and uh, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. You know what I mean? Uh, keep watching my channel. Like, subscribe, and put down some comments about what you think about Paul Stanley. I, I, I love to hear some other stuff, okay? So, once again, I'm going to say it. I know you hate to hear it, but like, subscribe. Only thing you got to do is just hit that little subscribe thing. It ain't that hard, you know what I mean? And then you can catch me every day. Wouldn't that be cool? So, but anyways, like, subscribe, and this is Whiskey Rock and Roller saying don't ever let rock and roll die, man. I'll talk to you in a minute.